Well, hello everyone. And as you can see, I've made use of a green screen again for the first time in a very long time on my channel. But the, that is how it goes. And welcome to another video on Heidi's Bear Corner. Uh, today we'll talk about a um, Belgian beer, uh, which I'll come to later. Um, it's a wheat beer, um, and which is a type of wheat, wheat beer, which come comes in, comes in um, a with a variety of uh, names like Weiss beer, uh, as which it originates in Bavaria, and it has, a, as mentioned, several um, subtypes. And a number of these um, wheat beers are brewed in Germany, Austria, Belgium, and a few other European uh, countries. Um, for example, Czech Republic and also uh, Americans have started this type of started brewing this type of beer. But uh, I do not have high expectations of those beers. Um, because uh, typically American beers are s somewhat akin to uh, watery Pilsner. So, as usual, my co-host Alfred is here. Alfred is a Lumin forefather, um, as well as Bertil, whom you've seen on my main channel, Hades Corner, is also a Lumin forefather or Moomin ancestor. Big and furry, like meh, okay, is a good uh, co-host for this channel. His um, familial relation to, to my other Moomin ancestor is yet to be determined and yet to be announced. And the other co-host today is Morran, or Hufsa, the Morran in Swedish. Uh, Merke in Finnish and Hufsa in Norwegian. I was told, made aware of this fact uh, quite some time ago by one by my patron Flems. Thank you, Flems, for being such a wonderful patron. Anyway, as for the type of a beer or category of a beer that these wheat beers or wheat be wheat beers uh, fall under. They are ales. Uh, uh, so, so wheat beers or wheat beers, um, like other ales, are usually or pretty much exclusively top fermented, as opposed to uh, bottom fermented, which are typic which lagers typically are, and they contain a highly, highly, high level of um, malted or unmalted wheat in the case of today's today's beer it's about 30 30 percent of unmalted um, wheat uh, in contrast to lagers which to an untrained eye may look the same as uh, wheat beer or these wheat beers uh, uh, lagers are bottom fermented with another type of yeast, uh, and these types of two two types or two very distinct types of yeasts, yeast types I discussed in the previous in my previous video, the uh, give me danger, uh, imperial stout of Estonia, where which was a, an imperial stout from a brewery called. Uh, name and the name of the beer is Gimme Danger. Today we'll discuss a Belgian white beer or wheat beer called uh, wheat, be wheat beer uh, is Flemish floor for uh, for a white beer. Flemish is a dialect of uh, Dutch spoken in Belgium and wheat beer originated in uh, Belgian monasteries of the uh, 14th century so it's been 
quite a while that Belgians have been making these types of beers. Uh, the beer of today is an, uh, an artisanal organic and it happens to be gluten free. Weird, weird thing for a wheat beer uh, to be gluten free, but let's go with that. So for the beer, the wheat beer or the white beer, wheat beer for today is Blanche de Brunholt, the Brunholt, Br Brunholt, uh, Brun, uh, which is brown, but Brunholt is a uh, small town in northwestern uh, Belgium in the uh, Fl Flanders area, just on the um, French border. There, they what they make are uh, all of them are uh, organic. They have these wheat beers, they have triple, quadruple, I think, and then uh, the, these wheat, wheat beers, and also uh, two or three uh, Abbey type beers, which I've talked about on my channel, and more is to come for those um, Abbey type beers, not, not from the uh, brewery of Bruno. Uh, Please correct me on the pronunciation if I get it too much wrong. Um, so I'll talk about Abbey beers because I love the Abbey beers. But let's go, let's have a, a look at what this, uh, what this particular uh, gluten, gluten, wheat, gluten free wheat beer uh, looks like. Uh, so let's open it and pour it into a glass and see what it looks like. So that was it for today's video on my beer channel, Heidi's Beer Corner, and the co-host with me, right next to me there, has been Alfred, the uh, Moomin ancestor related to that deal, the co-host, the co-host you've seen on my main channel, Heidi's Corner. And also today has been Mörke uh, Hufsa or uh, Morran has been here today with us joining, uh, feeling groggy as usual and being cold, cold, cold lady. She's been very cold today uh, as well as the beer has been cold and that is always nice. Please check the links in the description box below. Uh, also leave a like subscribe and tickle the notification bell and also share this video please check my patreon paypal discord servers uh the two of them Heidi's corner and lgbtq lgbt plus safe space server all both all both both servers worth checking out all links worth clicking go check them out and i will see you next time bye bye um as stated, uh, this is a gluten-free wheat beer. Wheat beer is typically, as I've talked about throughout this video, made of well wheat, but the, the bell, but the German word Weissbier refers to only um, only wheat being used. Uh, but for example, making this wheat beer. This wheat beer, making it wheat beer, is the the, the way it was made. Um, mm -hmm. But in this one, it's willet and buckwheat that that it has been that that, that make it a white beer, spicy white beer, and gluten free, which is an interesting combination. Okay, it smells of maybe a bit corianderish and maybe lemonish lemon ish orange ish so could be both mm. wow this was the first time that i tried this particular brew and this is so so good um The bottle doesn't specify with it whether which whether it's orange or uh, lemon or whatever it is the fruit 
but this is very fruity. Uh, I think it's by the taste of it, it's probably lemon. Lemon that brings the fruitiness into this this particular beer. So again, I opened the bottle of this um, Blanche de Brunot. Um, so this is a gluten free or an organic uh, beet beer, which is kind of strange to be quite quite honest to have um, a gluten free drink drink made of wheat, but you know it's uh, brewed it, it brews itself or um get matures in in a bottle or in the bottle here so let's um have a look what it looks like to you okay it gives a white thick white head like so okay so this is five i knew it would give me a very um five fine it's very fine and it's very the the head or the foam bit is very um thick very thick and it's very firm very firm but you can um when i starts to subside i uh turn some uh for some more it's re really really uh cloudy cloudy as i said um because of the uh high wheat high more high wheat content which can be malted or unmalted um in in case of these uh wheat beers it's cloudy thick head is cloud thick stays and long lasting and it these had typically have um orange peel and coriander and other spices uh to sp to make the the uh taste pressure and a bit spi you know spice it up so that was the tasting and color and what it looks looks and smells like um if uh, the taste is very very typically very very fresh um meat beans are um brewed uh, from from local uh herbs or were in the past uh, from local herbs i think they nowadays they get the the herbs from a bit farther a bit further away and spite as well as uh spices including coriander and orange peel to produce this um this light spicy tart and tart taste um uh, the this these types of wheat beers uh, have at least uh some 30 percent um unmalted wheat which is used to, to brew wheat beer um some may use a part of that maybe uh malted uh, malted wheat but wheat high wheat content regardless and it um the use it by using uh by having a um high unmalted wheat content and beers being uh typically unfiltered and brewed in the bottle it gives it gives the style it's white cloudy or hazy hazy color um or the shade and the shades of these these colors as you could as you could see on the uh, in the glass of the um of the beer and um, it's not particularly strong it's five and a half percent which is in you know the medium range i guess for belgian belgian beers it's um uh, for example ho garden which is another uh, Belgian wheat beer is an excellent, excellent one, also uh, brewed in the sm very small town of Kogarden in in Belgium. Uh, that is that may may or may not be a beer that I I will talk talk about in the future. But hey, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what will come in the future for my channel? Yeah, 
where we are where i am in in a year i don't know we'll see hopefully it's still here but let's still go strong strong and decisive forward with this channel